Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman with Trading Advantage with your morning market stir for Monday, March 10th. A record day and a record week once again in the equity markets. The E-mini S&P was up two at 1878. New all-time highs were made Friday at 1887 and one half. Another positive uh, week in stocks. Dow futures up 33, 16,448. Made some new relative highs. Got above 16,500 for the first time since January 21st. So still closing in on those all-time highs in the Dow once again. The Nasdaq was off 18, 3704. Currencies were quiet. Dollar up six at 79.72. The euro currency was up 11 at 138.72. The high was above the 139 level, 139.14. So pressing on those contract highs once again. Bonds were off. They did have a low of 130.21, finished at 131.05, down 19 with the employment report coming out. Crude oil was up a dollar, 102.65, still stuck within that range between 100 and 105. And gold was down 14 at 13.38, but still positive on the week last week. So after the surge on Friday, where did the market stand on this Monday morning to start a new trading week? Well, we're down a little bit. We're down two at 1876 in the S&P, down 14 in the Dow, 16,434, but up one and a half in the Nasdaq, which was the loser on Friday, up one and a half at 3706 right now in the Nasdaq. Looking at the currencies, we're quiet again. We're up another six in the uh, dollar, but still solidly below the 80 level at 79.78. Uh, we're unchanged at 138.72 in the euro. Bonds are down six ticks. Crude oil is off $1.30 right now at 101.30. Again, the low last week was just above $100 a barrel. We'll keep an eye on that as a crucial support and a psychological level to watch. And lastly, gold holding up $13.37, uh, down $1 as it stands right now. So to wrap up the current action, two hours to go before the cash stock market open. We're steady to lower. We're down two in the E-mini S&P and down 14 in the Dow futures, but the Nasdaq's up one and a half as we stand. I will see you early Tuesday morning for the morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman from Trading Advantage here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.